Why do people look at it in the first week? I'm curious. I never knew knew why. I don't know. I guess they feel like that's that. I mean, that's that's what say if you know how many people rock with you or not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, but to me, it's really just it's really about like how much noise you make the weeks leading up to that for real. Like how much how viral you can go. You know what I'm saying? Cause okay. Like, it's really that's all that is for me. Cause you've seen niggas can have high first week sales and shit just dip. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really feel like it matter for real. I ain't never think about it. It's crazy because, like, usually, like, when I when we see the artists doing their, um, like, their album run and shit like that, they doing it, like, right when they dropping. Like, they, and even when I do interviews, they be like, yo, can we drop it this way? Because this one I drop. Yeah. But that makes sense. You probably would want to yeah. do it before. You probably would want to drop interviews and shit like that before you drop. Yeah, I guess, I guess that we want to have content to, you know, you want to have content to promote after that shit. Like, after that. Okay. I guess that's why they do it. But a lot of times it just be labeled. It be the labels trying to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, but okay. That makes I don't sense. really do a lot of interviews. Honestly, for real. Nah, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he like <laughs> see a couple, but it's like yeah. ones that make sense. That's like what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you pulling up, nigga. Nah, for sure. For real, for real. Yeah, man. We ready to get this thing popping? And we got Young Blue in the building. What up, dog? How you feeling, what man? It, what it do? What we it talk do? about talk a little bit off camera. We just talking about um. Yeah. Basically, like first week sales and shit like that. Uh-huh. But the um, thing that thing I, I think that's interesting is, are you you independent right now, or you you signed again? Yeah, no, I'm independent. Independent. Right How is that for you? Uh, it's good. Like I said, I just um, basically just put out my um, put out my own music. I distributed through uh Empire. Empire, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. hard, bro. Like the, yeah, the um, yeah. the most interesting part about about you for me is the the business. Like mm-hmm. you're like super business savvy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what, where did you get that from? Did your parent was your parents like entrepreneurs or something like that? Nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, I just get that from just, you know, I I don't know. It's just instilled in me. Like it's like one of the things about me that I just I always wanted to do because mm. I got a, a a a major feel like going back to where I started. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'll never want to do that. So I'm always thinking of just different ways to, you know. But you had to lose some shit to, to to understand. I feel like a lot of times yeah. you really don't understand how to keep the money until you get it and lose it for real. Yeah, nah, nah, for sure. You had nah. to lose it. Like, what was the most yeah. you think you lost at one time? Most I lost at one time. Uh, I, I mean, I, I I invested like two hundred and fifty into a restaurant. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that ain't really just work out. Like, was probably like only up for like four five months. Damn. And uh, that was a big house. Uh, I don't know. On something stupid, though. Like, I feel like that's an investment. Like that's that's something it like really I ain't that I take you that. lose that because I end up not having a restaurant. You know, I end up not having a restaurant. I ain't make no money from it. So it was, a, you know, what I'm saying, it was really a loss. You know what I'm saying? What about yeah. something like I guess you know, like you know, how niggas get money and they spend it on yeah, yeah. shoes or like cl- oh, clothes. Oh yeah, I bought it when I first got chains on chains and shit. Yeah, when I first got on, like I. I was buying like a lot of cars and shit, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But uh, I, like I said, I've been getting money ever since like 2018, you know what I'm saying, like just doing shows on the underground scene. So like by the time I really got to commercial success, I really had like a lot of, um, I already had like every car I wanted, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like I already had all that shit. Like it was old news for real. So um, I feel like I kind of say like me just being like, Back when, like, the mixtape scene, like, doing all the clubs and getting money back then, I feel like that saved me from a lot of the, the dumb shit that I could have did when I when I finally, like, got commercial success, you know what I'm saying? Because so mm. I, I feel like I had already had a lot of, I had already, like, smartened up a lot of niggas, like, their first success is their commercial success, so they be already, like, they be just not, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, They be just not catching on to, like, you not supposed to do that shit, so. Right. I feel like I just kind of looked up and learned that shit early. Yeah. Wait, so question: what, When you say, because I heard you say this a couple times, mm. when you say like underground success, what do yeah. you categorize that as? Underground success. I mean, tell like, me a, a, a space in your career. Um, I mean, probably like around like yeah, like 2017, 2018, when I was like dropping mixtapes on Spin Real or like going number one on Spin Real of my mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? That was back when like it was mixtape sites where you like. Had downloads and shit. Right. I used to get about 2.8 million downloads yeah. on my mixtape. 
I got songs off those mixtapes that's platinum, double platinum, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was underground success, but no, like, the underground people knew me, but, like, I ain't have no commercial success. Like, right. I wasn't on, like, the, you know, at the awards, I wasn't at the Grammys and shit, you know. I wasn't being posted on, like, blogs and shit, you know. I was just, it was just underground. I was just, like, doing millions and millions of screens underground, so. That's was the first like, level of, like, um, I guess, success, like, big success, right? Mm -hmm. Was that the... The Kevin Gates feature that you had, the song that you had with Kevin Gates, with the um, uh, I always feel like that was big success. Yeah, or was that I still underground? I, yeah, that was still underground. They ain't, they ain't become a success and really until recently. Like it was a success. Like it was a, like I was listening to that years ago. Yeah, you were listening to that years ago, but it wasn't. You know, nobody knew it was my record until now. You know what I'm saying? So for like, real, I don't feel like the world. Like the world what, ain't know. I thought that's what. That was my first time seeing you. I thought that's what put you on for real. Am I? I mean, it, it did to the underground scene, but you know, it's different tiers. Like it's different tiers. Like it's it's local, and then it's like underground, and then it's like I feel like it's even another tier before it's commercial. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like it's like commercial. bubbling, I guess. Like yeah, like bubbling, bubbling, bubbling under. Then it's like bam, you there. And then from that, it's like superstar, you feel me? So okay. It's like, it's commercial success, and then it's superstar, you know what I'm saying? What you think the biggest difference is from now, right, to the success you're saying now, mm -hmm. to the success that you categorize as being like underground? Uh, I mean, I feel like the only difference is like, you know, bigger deals, you know what I'm saying? Bigger mm -hmm. deals, bigger bigger money, you know, uh, more leverage, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, like, ain't nobody know you, so... Like people knew me, you know what I'm saying, but it's like it wasn't like you would just say my name in, in a room of like people and everybody know who I am, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They'll just be like, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think academics and them knew who I was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like none of the blogs, they ain't really know who I was for real. I feel if like you I said just, my name, I just talk about. I just it's funny you said that because mm -hmm. I just seen academics talking about you when he was talking about um yeah. Rick Ross uh jet he just bought a jet uh, and shit yeah. you got one right uh huh yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah. bro like what what was it? all right so initially yeah. not now right yeah yeah initially was it always for an investment or was it just a just a flex like what was your thought initially buying a, a I ain't never buy the flex though I already bought it because I was just spending a lot of money flying I was just like shit my will just buy you buy this motherfucker I just be doing math on shit. Doing math like okay, how much I would I spend flying everywhere I need to go versus like if I just get a plane and just drive it for cost. You feel me? So that was really the the main thing behind that. So before really. you got the jet, how much you think you were spending in, in like air miles type shit? Yeah, you know you can spend like forty, fifty for one shit of one way. Wait. Because you was getting private jets, maybe you was renting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Wait, charge. why you want just? Cause most we see like niggas that be like bubbling. They still do like the first class type shit. Why you want doing that? I was for a minute. You feel me? I was for a minute, and then I just got like I ain't really like going to the airports. I ain't really like how they treat me and shit like that. Like just like far as like niggas be getting attitudes, and you have to deal with like a lot of sickness and stuff like that. People coughing, sneezing. You know, I'm a germophobic, so I, you know, I got them. You know, it. I just like shit. I like to find private, like you know. What I'm saying? Nice. I like to find private. So I really just basically just got in that community, start connecting with the people in that community, and my prices just start going down and down because I was just connecting with the people in the aviation community. You know, what I'm saying and once you kind of like in that community, like you'll find out it's way more cheaper than what these charter people that's middleman, middleman, middleman. It's it's way cheaper than than that cost. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Once you get in that community, get the pilot ticket. Damn. All right, so you bought the jet, right? And then did you learn the business after you bought it? Like, did you know that, like, bro, to park it, it costs this much. Mm -hmm. I got to pay for this pilot type shit. You already knew all that going into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I knew all of that because I had, I tested <laughs> it before Before I got mine, I had a smaller one. I had a smaller one. I was just seeing how that seeing how that was for, I like, I tried it out for, like, three months, and then I went up bigger. I, had, I started with a light jet, and then I went up to a super mid. Damn, so... How are you making money on it now? Like, how is it? Like, are you are you renting it out and shit like that, or is it just person just? For I don't you? rent my, I don't rent my, I don't rent my. It's really just personal use. I basically just, I I I, uh, I put it through a jet management company that uh, really just like do flights and stuff on it, and then they put it in my account, and then when I fly, I just fly free. 
Okay. So wait, wait, wait. So you 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 own it, mm-hmm. but the 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 company still uses it for other flights, though, right? Yeah. So it's technically not renting it out. It's just like a yeah. business that you. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. So like, it make you how, how much you think it, it make you like a year now? Like, think. Of, I don't know, cause I don't really like. I really just got it on that jet management company. Been there for like four months, but like, I don't really like. You really never really gonna make a profit on it if you flying, and I be flying, because you got maintenance, you got all this type of shit. And for order for it to be charter, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a lot of like certificates and shit like that, and that's why I don't got it up under my name like as ownership. You know what I'm saying? And I just got it in the. Uh, I just left it in the person that I bought it from name uh, just because he had all the certificates and shit for me to be on the program. Okay. Yeah. But I would assume that shit, that probably still saved you some bread on the back end, though. Like, I mean, I would assume. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, not really, because I still paid the full. I still paid the full price. The only, way I was, the only way I was able to do that was just connecting with them and just knowing them, because they usually wouldn't do it, but, you know. Damn, that's crazy. Like, Cause yeah. it's, fun, it's funny you said that, because, again, I was just – you like um you wasn't really having in the rooms with the people that was saying your name and you said academics. I literally just yeah. seen that video yeah. of him talking about uh Rick Ross shit and like Yeah, yeah. That shit's crazy. Like Yeah. That's it's like that's the thing to do, but it's it's kinda like like the business with Toro. I'm not saying that's Toro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hear that you can make some you could it could be re- really lucrative lucrative if you do it the right way for real. Yeah, I mean it could be lucrative for you. You know what I'm saying? It could be lucrative. It, I'm pretty sure it could be way lucrative. Oh, I ain't getting no jet. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, nah, I'm just saying like for people. I'm just people. Shit, you might get. you might do. You never know. You know what I'm <laughs> shit, not no top soon. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's way more lucrative than the way I use it. But I ain't buy it to make money off of. You know, I bought it to fly without the cost you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and that's the way to do it like you know having on a jet management program you basically like throwing all the everything on that jet management program and and in turn they they doing flights on your shit so you can you know you don't have to pay for the parking and shit i'm assuming i mean you do but they basically put when they when they pay for it then they take it out your account that you build it with them because they doing flights on your shit Okay. Okay. So you never you paying for it, but it don't feel like you paying for it because it's money that they going to make on your shit. Okay. So mm-hmm. it would be smart, like I guess, to put it in your name. It, well, unless you got just a shitload of money. Yeah. It wouldn't. I mean, it wouldn't be smart. Like you know, Ross probably got. You know, he probably got all that shit. Pretty sure he probably gonna wanna make money on his. You know, he probably took the time out and did all the charter shit like that before. But I didn't. Like I really just. You know, I was That's just trying to. You know what I'm saying. I wonder what um again when I was just doing my research, I'm just like, bro, this nigga really yeah. in his business bag. Like, yeah, like you've like, been in your business bag, like your entrepreneurship bag for a minute. Hell yeah, I'm staying, staying that. Question: I, You think I, that, I, but being so business savvy, do you mm-hmm. think that like when it comes to the music and getting yeah. these deals, yeah, do you think that was a plus or a negative? And, and I I ask this question because yeah, sometimes I feel like the more I know. Because I know certain shit, I ain't really going for everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that don't. But now in return, I'm not in every room that I want to be in. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not getting the looks that I want to get because yeah, I yeah, know yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it hurts you sometimes? Yeah, I think that shit hurt. I think that shit hurt me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just being like, sometimes you could be too smart for yeah, a lot of people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these people don't don't want to deal with artists who like they feel like know too much. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because like, damn, like how I'm going. Get over. <laughs> yeah, how I'm going to get over, like, give you the short end of the stick if you know too much. Like, I'd rather go deal with somebody, you know what I'm saying, that I that don't really know too much. And a lot of times, those people that don't really know too much do get bigger opportunities, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, because they, you know what I'm saying, so. Because they take the opportunity over the money, kind of. Yeah, they take the opportunity over the money, but a lot of them end up fucked up in the end, though. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It, it feel good during that time where, like, the opportunity coming, 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 but, like, at what about the end game? Like at the end of the day, like shit, when all that shit got them get the decline is like shit. Now it come down to what deal did you negotiate? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? What what did you get out the deal? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't get nothing out the deal, shit, cause you was just living in that moment, that fast moment of like having everything you ever wanted. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, it, you just gotta like just weigh it. Like some people like want the, you know, the Right now, some people like think about the long term, and I feel like shit. The way I'm pacing my career, like shit, I'm 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 finna get ready to get to the point where like I'm um 
I'm gonna be able to do all this stuff they could do for me, like by myself. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I'm trying to get. So at the same time, on the front end of my career, like I made all the right moves on the shit, and then from that shit, I got down, made the right moves to uh, put myself in a position to be in the same rooms as like the opportunities they get. Because motherfucker moving off money, I don't give a fuck what what it is, what type of relationship. No you got cap. the money to do it, it can happen. Money make the world go round for real. No, I think, so. yo, so question. Do, so let's go back though, right? Mm-hmm. Young Blue coming up. Yeah. Right, like you hungry for it. Yeah. Looking at it now, right? Yeah, you successful and you can take care of your family. You're in, you're in a better position than a lot of people who, who do get to look, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like we, we can say that. Does it ever be a time where, like, you want to get the the notoriety, right? Like, it's, do, does it ever be mm-hmm. a time where I could, like, man, I wish I could, like, trade off some like not have yeah. as much money yeah. right yeah but have more exposure where niggas can really like know who the fuck i am for real um i mean i f- you know i feel like it's just it's just a chance every artist got to take you know what i'm saying it's just a chance every artist got to take like maybe i will take it one day like you know what i'm saying if it's the right situation i'm never gonna get like i'm never gonna let nobody fuck me you know what i'm saying but if it's the right situation shit Mm. I don't know. It just depends on what you want out your career. Like, mm. It just depends on what you Wait, want. Wait, what you out want? Your to, what you want out this shit? Shit, I just, I just want to, I want to be good. Like, I want to be good and just looked at as like an artist who's smart, talented, and and you know, respected. You feel me? Like, mm. I don't really care too much about like being like just uh, mega famous or uh, like that. I like, everybody just you know, I feel like that's. I feel like that's too much to keep up with, like, cause you always gotta be like, when you that up, I feel like it's always room for like people to say you, you know what I'm saying, going down because you just held on such a pedestal. I feel like being like underrated, kind of like a good move. Ain't nobody like, like that. Just go back to the first week shit. Yeah, I sold what twenty. I sold like twenty k first week on my last project. I ain't sell a hundred k, but. Nobody talked about that shit. Nobody mm-hmm. talked about it like as a failure because okay, because niggas nobody, don't expect nothing. Niggas don't niggas don't expect niggas don't expect me like you know what I'm saying to 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 do that. Niggas yeah. just expect me to have hit records when they hear it. You feel me? Like and just be blue. You feel me? Like a lot of these niggas got a lot of pressure mm. on them because people just expect so much shit from them. And I don't really like that shit. Like, oh wait, like wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, yeah. hold up. We ain't about to. Let's not let. Let's not just, just fast forward through this. Yeah. Is that something you just? Is this a place where you just got to, <laughs> or because like it, it had to be a place back in the day where you wanted to be the the, the the most lit or the most famous? No, or you just always been like that? I feel like before I knew the industry, you know what I'm saying. Before I knew, mm. I did all this shit is make believe for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I talk for right. real. Yeah. So, so once you found out it was like BS, it was like, man, I just want to make my money and just ducked off, be ducked off for real. Yeah, because like, I mean, realistically, like, man, a hit record and a hit record and like being the most talked about is all in marketing. Mm. Like it's marketing. Whoever's spending the most marketing, like whoever's spending the most marketing bag at that moment going to be the most talked about. Like. When there's a new artist on the scene, guess what? The labels go open up the marketing budget and go make this person the most talked about person. You feel me? And you will understand once you're not seeing them talked about as much, it's not because, like, they're not popping. It's just because they stop spending the marketing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So why well, base your career off that? You know what I'm saying? Base your career. I base my career off music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, base my, I base my career off that. Soon enough, all the other shit I catch up to. You feel me? Like I'd rather retire, slept on with fucking forty platinum plaques, you know what I'm saying? Double platinum plaques and fucking a core fan base that I can go out on tour and they'll come see me whenever I want to and pay it up then goddamn motherfucking uh a uh, 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 fallen star, you feel me? It, it's Fucked crazy. Up. It's crazy. Famous. Cause I'm about to make an analogy, right? And niggas might kill me for this, but yeah. I swear to God, I was looking, I was listening yeah. to your interviews, and I'm like, yo, this nigga, and the, yeah. this remind me of an artist. I'm gonna say that name, yeah. but what you just said made me made me think of him so much more. Yeah. Yeah. You remind me of yeah. French Montana, 
when you yeah. say that. Yeah. Because French Montana got some, yeah. he probably got some, he probably got more hits than a lot of niggas yeah. think. Yeah. Like way more hits than niggas' favorite artists. Yeah, yeah. And he probably kicked up, and niggas really don't talk about him like that. Yeah. And then when we do see his name, niggas try to throw mad shade yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like, yeah, yeah. But he got hit after hit after hit after yeah. hit. Yeah, not for sure. That like, but I feel like that's. I don't know. It's just like I said. It just depends on what you want. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what you want. If you want the stardom, now some people that could do that. They could do both. I feel like I'm a person that could do both. But I feel like it ain't that time yet. I feel mm-hmm. like it ain't that time yet. Like I gotta make sure my front end straight before I'm at the point now. I feel like I done started enough businesses. I done made enough money. You know what I'm saying? To where like my next deal situation because I'm on my last. Uh, I'm on my last album with. Uh, Empire, uh, so I'm finna be like, you know, super independent, but you know, I'm probably thinking about going to like a major this time, and and you know, thinking about it, but uh, yeah, I might do something like that, because I'm good, I'm good now, like I ain't, I ain't losing nothing, so the, the everything balanced now. You man, know? it's so many places to go. Hold up. It's so many places. All right, so hold up. Yeah. Before we go into the business of the music shit, because I want to yeah. talk about that. Mm. It's not... If we had to look back, because I like going back, you feel me? So like... Yeah. Or you, or even now, you don't feel like you slept on, or you just don't care. Or And and if you ever did yeah. feel like that, like, where did that go? Like, talk to me about that. Like, even if you grew past it. Yeah. Tell me about that, no feelings. Oh, shit. I mean, I do feel like I've slept on, but I understand, like... Why I'm not slept on? I mean, I'm I understand why I'm slept on though, so it really don't make me mad. For real, it, or is that just right now? No. Tell me about the moments when it do when it do get to you, or no, it bro, don't ever get like, to you. Like you gotta look at it, bro. Like I know what make me slept on It's because I really don't do the most. You feel me? That's mm-hmm. the only reason I'm like, bro. Like when I be in my little mood, I just be hella talkative and just I'm on blogs every day. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? Like people like controversy these days. Like that's a fact, if man. you could be one of those people that just like love controversy or love keeping your name in some shit. And I I mean, I could I could say some shit and if I just really wanted to like stir up the internet, nigga, I can go on a rant, get the dissing saying fuck you, fuck you, or get the talking about my experiences with girls and mm-hmm. all this shit and just be going viral every day. If I mm-hmm. really wanted to, it's in my power to do. You feel me? And just say all type of juicy shit that just make the blogs and no, shit. Just want to. You got it. a lot of stories you can go. It's, it's, you had a lot of experiences you can go in. If yeah, you want to. like if I really just wanted to, but it's just like, is that me though? That's not. That's never been me. So and I never been really been comfortable being in that light. So sometimes I just be like, shit. These days you gotta be that to. You gotta be comfortable being in that type of light, being judged all the time to be like viral. You feel oh, me? Wait, right there, right there. Hold up. So thinking about that outside of the industry, right? Yeah. Does that ever make you frustrated? Like, man, I, like this is really the world. Like that is the world. It's the it's it's, it's a shame yeah. sometimes. I think like that. It don't make me frustrated, bro. It don't make me yeah. frustrated because I because because it's 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 I'm past it now. Like I, I you're didn't getting too much money. That's why. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I, ain't, ain't, <laughs> I just like too much money, nigga. nah. It's just like shit. It's like that's not really what I want. Like I want to blow up and if I don't. If I don't get there my way, then if I do get there, I'm gonna feel like it w- it ain't me, and I ain't gonna yeah. feel good about it. So it's like, shit, why? If I'm feeling good right, if I'm feeling good right now, why would I? Why would I change? Like, mm. why would I change? Like, don't. And then at this point, for real, I don't feel like I feel like me changing up right now. After I've been this way my whole career, I feel like that's corny. Oh, people sure. will look at and people look at me corner like if I automatically just start doing that yeah. out of nowhere Yo, and I them. never was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it'll be corny and it won't work like for somebody else that's been doing that from the get go. You right. know what I'm saying? Like nah, it'll just be looked at on who be at corner. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. You right. So I I rather before I do that I just let the music speak for itself. Like you know what I'm saying? If I wanna. Like I'm rid of the type where I could put out a hit when I want to. Like I don't really. Every time I don't got a hit out. Like, it's because I'm doing some business shit that I'm just focused on. Like right now, like last year, I really just been like building my building my facility. Like I've been on, you know, I'm getting a lot of acting roles. Just started a production company, like all that shit, like that. Take like 
time, bro. That shit take like months and months. You'll look up three months past, four months past, five months past. Yeah, to the fans, they like, oh, what, 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 blue ever? But it's like shit. To me, it's like shit going by fast as fuck. Like I'm in a whole nother, you know, I don't want to be held to just doing this one thing that y'all think I'm supposed to be doing when I got so many other dreams mm -hmm. that if I don't start on right now, they not going to be in full fruition by the time, you know what I'm saying? You so need to, I dab, I did been dabbling. I did been dabbling everything. Like, but I, is that taken away from the, the music? Because you know, we, we want to hear the music. You just dropped the tape. Um, I ain't want, what's, what's Love Scars. Love Scars. Love Scars, right? Yeah. You just dropped that, but mm. you clearly was doing business shit. You was doing other things, right? Yeah. Do you think that get in the way of the music and do you think the fans can hear that, right? Like it's. Oh, nah. I don't feel like it do, cause like I swear I, I, bro, I ain't getting not one bad review on this album. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't getting not one bad review on this album. People love the album. Like I said, like the only reason that they make this album as big as the other one because I ain't have no big. singles that I was pushing off there before. Like you know what I'm saying? That I was just going crazy behind. Like I said, cause I was doing some other shit. I really just dropped that for my core fan base. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It wasn't like one of those commercially promoted albums like that. Um, like, but when I get in that bag, like I could do that when I want to. If I go in there and I, you know, looking to make a single, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be play here and play here. Like I could do that when I want to. Like when I got like, you know, I got like a lot of accolades and shit that I'm I'm cool. Like I I never put myself in that category. I don't have the pressure that they have because like a lot of these artists have because I'm proven, bro. Like mm -hmm. whether it's on the underground scene, like don't nobody look at me as no. One hit wonder, you right, know what I'm nah, saying? You, you can't know. really say that. Yeah, you like you can't say that at all, honestly. Nah, you can't say that because I, I, I didn't had like a lot of records, like a lot of records. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's records you heard or not, really records you didn't heard about. Like I've had a core for a long time, so I ain't got that pressure like that other people got. Like, well, I gotta make another. I'm like, I'm cool. People know I'm a talented artist, all around artist. Like, mm. it ain't that pressure you feel me no, when i have a record i got a record <laughs> if i don't like i'm still blue you and, know it, and, and, and it, it it helps that like like you said you've been around for a while yeah. so you was able to build up your uh your audience and shit like that then you had yeah. big hits we'll get to that all, also with the drake but you didn't have yeah. you had other hits as well before that right and yeah. the fact that you're independent yeah you are kind of like reaping everything reaping the benefit of all your own work right like yeah. you don't gotta you, know, you ain't getting going to nobody else you're getting all your money on, on the on the top yeah. bro Right, so I mean, it ain't, it ain't none of that. Like, I, mean, I, don't, you, I don't look at shit like that. Let me ask you this then, because yeah. I uh, I be talk I was talking to a, I talk to a lot of artists coming up, right? Yeah. So many artists in the world, right? Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's so, but it's more artists in the world that we don't know than we actually do. Yeah. No. Right. I was wondering, just whoop all your businesses, right? Yeah. Um, if moving forward, mm -hmm. if it had to be, you just be the richest person ever, right? You could take care of your family. Yeah. But. You never had a hit going forward. Would you be okay with that? And you just got the bag. I mean, all the reason that question would make that question hard is because, like, if you got the money, you got the hit. Mm. That's the only, like, if you got the money, you got the hit, bro. Like, bro, look, you go make the wackiest song that you ever didn't make. I mean, we if you got a million dollars to put we... behind it, bro, that shit gonna go. Like, if you got a million dollars to put behind it, and you making sure motherfuckers hear that bitch everywhere, like the, how the game is now, it's gonna go. Mm. I ain't saying that it's just gonna be like the wacky, wacky song, but like it's everybody, a lot of everybody got a, right now. Though. That's what I'm saying. It, so I'm just saying. Of, I know, said you don't got to say it. It's a you lot feel, of like I said, up. bro. If you got the motherfucking budget to have everybody on TikTok, all the influencers on TikTok doing the dances to this weak ass song, <laughs> and you if you got that budget. Then it's gonna be what it's gonna be. It ain't got no choice because motherfuckers hear it all the time. So that's what I'm saying. A hit is these days, bro. I mean, it's some good records, you know what I'm saying, that make it easier. Like, okay, you gotta look at this. It's like this. You probably drop a whack record that may take you a million dollars to make it a hit. Mm -hmm. But it's, you still can make it a hit with money, though. Mm -hmm. But I probably got a good ass record that probably only took me $200,000 to make mm -hmm. a hit. 
That's the only difference. But both of them, if you spin enough, both of them can gonna become go. hits. You know I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it 100, though. I think it's the opposite. This, your analogy, I think it's the opposite now. And me personally. Yeah. Because I'm coming up. You had, you got a lot of success. So yeah. you good. You feel good. You got your money. Me, yeah. I'm still striving for it. So yeah. me, make me mad. I'm going to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. It's like the whack shit yeah. take less of the effort than the good shit. And me personally, I feel some type of way about it. I be like, yo, it's so many. I see so much talent out here. And it's like, damn, it's so unfortunate because, like, you see so many good artists, just, like, really good, and they not as popular as the people that's making some bullshit. Yeah. And I ain't going to, I'll be like, Because damn. the people that's making the bullshit, they are spending more money. Mm. Well, or it's just reason, catchy, too, though. I mean. It's catchy. Yeah. A lot of the bullshit be catchy. Like, it's be like, all right. But, but you got to look talent. at You got to look at this. All right. I'm going to get it to you from, you looking at it from a spectator it's standpoint. For, I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look at this from. Uh, business standpoint. If I could come sign you for five bucks, I'm gonna spend whatever to make whatever you drop popular, right? Mm -hmm. But if I got this other artist over here that make good music, got a core fan base, and they say, "Oh man, I want a million yeah, to sign over there," I mean, smart. They smart, they savvy, mm -hmm. they ain't like they know they shit intellectual. They like, nah, well, I've been making this and this, well, I want this. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You may sign them, but you already in a million. Yeah. So is you gonna put another million? Facts. It's gonna be hard for you to put another million. You like, oh, if that shit go, it go. If it's not, you know, if it don't, then it ain't gonna go. Facts. If you if I sign you for five dollars, I got a million to go put behind marketing of that shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna make it go. You Facts. feel me? So that's the difference. Like the artists that's like really good songwriters and artists that make a good good music, they kind of know they worth. Mm. So like it go back to what you were saying. Kind of like too smart for the system. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. So it's like it take us longer than the people who like they just go find a kid from the hood. Ain't never seen nothing. Ain't never had nothing. You know, making a little rah rah song. Man, go on, come over here, man. I'm gonna give you this. Da 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 da. All right, fuck it. I just want to be famous. Right. Bam, get to them. Bam, they blow up. A lot of times, more than eight times out of ten, that be they last. Yeah, shit. one and done. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, so that was the labels. They go, oh, he hot. Bam, go spend a million. Bam, blow that up. Bam, make all the shit diamond now. Make that money. Bam, on, on to the next. Who the next little popping kid? You know what I'm saying? Why would I go spend all this money on this good songwriter, intellectual, fucking know the business? He know all this shit. Why would I go spend all this money on him? If right. I could go get the five dollar kid and That's blow right. him up, and yo, put not the money to turn in. this into like a business podcast, bro. But I'm just, I, no. like I said, bro, I'm just like just watching you. I just had so much questions about the business because I'm yeah. not an artist, but I was curious because yeah. you were so open with a lot of the business part. But I feel like yeah. niggas weren't asking the questions that I had. A, I was curious about. Yeah. So, question: If you can break it down now, since you're yeah. out of the deals, yeah. you were saying at one point like somebody was trying to give you a uh, three hundred thousand uh -huh. for for like eight project, like three projects. And then somebody gave it, gave you that same three hundred for one project. Oh yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that work? Like, if let's say the the, the label give you three hundred thousand for three projects, am I am I banking that? Does one does all the sales come to me now, and I'm banking that you're gonna sell more records that make me more money? Like, how does that work? I'm talking about for the person that's offering you the three albums. Yeah, the, the relationship period. If I, if I'm saying yo, I'm gonna give you three hundred thousand dollars. You gotta give me three three albums. Yeah. What am I banking on? Like, what? How do I get my money back? Is it from the album sales? Yeah, it's from the, from the album sales. Like they hoping that you have a big single off one of those albums, or they hoping that yeah they could just recoup that three th three hundred thousand they they give you, and they hoping they could recoup that off one song and the re and the rest of it be just pure profit. So that's where it would go wrong for an artist not betting on themselves, I would assume. Because if you give me 300, right, and I say, yeah, and then my project hit, yeah, I probably could have made 300 million. Not saying I would have, but if yeah. I would have, now I'm hurting like, fuck. Like. But it's all a gamble, though, because what if you didn't make it? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What if you ain't make it? I mean, if you, it just depends on what situation you're in. If you already seeing that, you know, it's about just if you know the business or not. If you already seeing that, then you obviously they're going to have to give you more. Right. But if you just put your music out and you don't know where it's coming from, you just like, oh, three hundred thousand shit. You don't really you don't really know. Maybe right. it's cool for you to take the deal. Your first deal not always gonna be your best deal. Like I ain't had a best deal coming in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had a best deal coming in, like 
I, I negotiated. What was your first deal? What was your first deal? Uh, my first deal was with uh, with my first deal with Boosted Label. How much he give you? Well, I, I mean, get, I ain't getting, I ain't getting none. It's just publicity type yeah. shit. Yeah, like I ain't. Wait, how old was you, was you then, though? I mean, cause that matters, right? That matters. Yeah, I, I probably young. was like, I probably was like eighteen. I think I was like eighteen. Yeah, and Boosie, you probably looked up to Boosie at that time, maybe. Hell yeah, yeah. Every, I know that I was did. My favorite uh, artist. I was like, hell yeah, shit, I'm signing to Boosie. I was like, hell yeah, I'm signing. It's open. Oh, I was about to say, um, so yeah. like, so like, yeah, that's crazy, cause like, I would think, outside of that, then, yeah, right, yeah. your first real deal, cause I guess that's like, that's still, yeah. So when I signed with Boosie, we signed a joint venture with Columbia, like mm-hmm. six months, uh, six months later, and um, I mean, I think I got, I think I signed, and I'm like. Like one fifty, I end up getting like fifty thousand of that. Wait, how? What the fuck? Cause I had like I was we were signing a joint venture. Okay, so, so it got to go to the the yeah label yeah 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 you got to go the to the niggas that signed you and then yeah. yeah. For, for, Damn. So alright, so fifty to is it like three or like percentages? Like how does that like I'm trying to know the numbers. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm what, looking the percentages? at percentages. Yeah. So how you get how you end up getting fifty? Shit, I don't know. I think probably like uh, Boosie and Boosie brothers split it. Oh, okay, they, they so split it's three the ways. other hundred. Oh, okay. yeah, it was, they split because Boosie brother brought me into a badass. Like he the one that found me and brought me to badass. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And then, you know, Boosie was kind of just you know the 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 face of it. But I was signed to. I really was signed to uh, through TQ. Okay. Yeah. Yo, how was that, bro? Think about like looking up like just again. We 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 both shared yeah. that. Like Boosie was like. He still yeah. is like the godfather of my city. Yeah. I'm from Boston. Like he, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. But coming from being a fan yeah. to walking into the business, yeah. How was that experience for you? Like, how was it? I mean, I mean, like I said, like once you get older and start like seeing certain things, like you know, a lot of time business can't fuck up a lot of shit. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? True. You know, but like I said, I always tried to, I always tried to uh, just. You know, keep the best relationship I I can, but you know, so a lot of times, you know, business, uh, you know, get in the way of that sometimes. Yeah, it get in the, it get in the way of that sometimes. So it's it's crazy know. cause um, I was talking to uh somebody and she was saying like sometimes when you get in these positions, like she know better that she don't even want to meet some of her uh like idols. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. you know how it can it yeah, can, it, yeah. it could, could kind of like yeah. Yeah, but yeah. damage the relationship because now it's like I don't even look at you the same now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that, nah, that, 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 that be a, that be it a lot of times. But, uh, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I just, I just maneuver the way the the way I maneuver. Mm. You know, everything play out how it's supposed to play out. That's crazy, bro. I, well, I'm glad you gave me that game. So, yo, um, it's funny we were talking about uh the big records you had. You got mm-hmm. a few, right? Yeah. The song you did with Drake. Yeah. Did that ex is did that? What's the word? Go past your expectations, or was it not big enough? What, what I'm just curious. Like, would that exceed your expectations? Or it was like, man, that could have been bigger. Just curious. Wow, I feel like that. Shit, I feel like that bitch going on full time platinum. Damn. So I, don't know, I feel like it's. I feel like it's it ex- exceeded your expectations. Probably be. I mean, it ain't slowing down, so it's like probably gonna be. Probably the next five years, it's probably gonna be nine. Damn. So, so I, don't, I don't know how much more bigger than can it get. No, so I'm curious. Know. I'm curious of what you think, cause like you know, Drake can really like we seen Drake like change. Like he, he probably changed your life with that song, but we seen some sh- situations where it was like that shit was like crazy. I don't know the, the numbers, right? For mm-hmm. I don't really know the numbers, but like. We didn't see some shit go crazy. And I was wondering yeah. when you getting on a song, Drake hits you, right? He going, he, he say, yo, send me the track. You send it yeah. to him, he send it right back, right? I'm wondering from you, like, is you thinking like, man, it's about to do this? Oh no, nah, nah, I already know it's about to go crazy. I mean, just off his fan base, you know what I'm saying? But I got songs that I, I I've got I've got songs that's done the same amount of screams as your mind still, but Drake that I got solo. That's mm. the thing. And that's what I was wondering. Like, if you got something that did the same thing, then it's like, how do you measure that then? Right? It's like, I don't like. I don't even think that's my high. Like, I don't even think that's my highest. My highest. I don't think that's my highest screaming. Um, I don't think that's Niggas my highest got the screaming. Numbers is hard. I fuck. This is hard. Nah, for real though, cause I, I no, I think I was just looking at that shit the other day. Like, 
think I was looking at Louis Bay. Then I be trying to tell people like I was just underground. Like I said, like a lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm trying to see. It's hard. Yeah. What's like, your like, highest strength then? Let me once you pull it up. Like all the time. Well, that may be that may be my highest screaming. You know what I'm saying? But it just it just it's not too far that. from your next one. Yeah. What's your next one? That. My next one, a song called Miss It. That one got um, three hundred million. Three hundred million screens. So, 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 right there, right? So that's I think that's the question right there. You don't think that's if that's not if that's just barely hitting your your next highest stream, you would feel like maybe that was like, damn, is that a missed opportunity? Nah, bro, because that song big. Like the other song, Miss It. The song Miss It is big, bro. The audio version, the audio version without even a video, got one hundred and thirteen million screens. Damn. You feel me? Like the video got a hundred million streams. That's 200 million streams right there. That's just on YouTube. Like, I mean, it's, I was like, that's no feature. You feel me? Mm. Niggas just don't know that shit. My fans know it. <laughs> Damn. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Mm. And you sit up here and you, and you say, you don't be like, man, these niggas is sleeping on me. Fuck these niggas. I just know my fans know it, though. Mm. Like, I feel like I could always pull the receipts if I ever need to. That's why I'm never going to worry about an argument I'm getting into with anybody like about like what I've done because I got receipts that's a fact if I ever have to defend myself if mm-hmm. I ever want to defend myself like I got receipts you know what I'm saying Facts. I, I, I just feel like I don't feel like I ain't you know what I'm saying I don't feel like I've I've never saw that you know what I'm saying me coming up in that conversation you know what I'm saying uh about like shit like that though so yeah. I, I ain't really it ain't even never been on my mind because like i Never like it's like foreign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like foreign, no. yeah, yeah, like, like foreign to me. Like I yeah. never like see people like saying shit like that about me. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like most of the majority of people know. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. like like the niggas deep, that know they deep. know type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they they already know my body. They know how deep my shit, my how deep my pen go. Nah, facts. Like, yeah, you do right. Jeez, you just brought yeah. up some other shit. Yeah, you be writing right. a lot too. Yeah. Niggas bad, well, bad go deep. So I ain't even nothing. When it comes to the music, I ain't even, I ain't even tripping. That's why that. you trying to get into this acting Now, shit. fame and notoriety and shit like that, that's a different thing from the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, like, it's a lot of people got, like, hella notoriety and and, 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 money. and not hella no way more notoriety than me, but ain't selling way more than me. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's, it's, it's an imbalance. It's an imbalance in the game, like. You never know what's you never know what's going on with with people. You just gotta do your shit, keep trying to be this person or compare your success to this person, bro. That shit just it make it it it, it make you get away from your core. Mm. Your core is more important than chasing their core. You feel nice. me? If you fuck around, and lose your core trying to chase their core, and their core don't give a fuck about you for real. That's a fact. <laughs> Damn, that's a fact. And that's crazy even, like, thinking about the music you hear, so many people, like, get in these different bags. Yeah. Right? And, and, damn, now that you bring that up, right? Some people, right, they make music, and they, and they some people, like, they get, they feel like they're getting caught up in a box. Yeah. And they be like, man, I want to do something different because I don't want people to box me in. Yeah. Me, personally, I feel like, it's kind of what you're saying, I feel like if you stay there, stay the course, you'll gain more fans, and you'll create a niche. Yeah. But the moment you try to, like, jump ship the ship because it's like, man, I don't want to be in a box, I, I feel like it kind of do more harm. Yeah. Do you feel like you you want to just stay on one type? Of- nah, I feel like I came in the game on some different shit though. I I literally came in the game like I got man. I I really came in the game like in my mixtape like investment days. I was on some gangster shit like I was rapping like I got nigga. I got songs. I got songs. Goddamn nigga. I was with Dirk and shit before he was even Dirk. Like mm-hmm. that we doing. They got thirty forty million screens. You feel me? Like. I was on some gangster shit back in the mixtape days. Like, my first R and B song was "Miss It." Like, that, that was my first R and B song. M's. Yeah, that was the first time I did R and B. It was like, damn. Of course, I'm gonna be like, damn, this shit went this crazy. I'm finna keep doing this <laughs> you shit. You're this bad. Then I started just kept doing that shit. Then I just started getting like hella popular with that shit. So, what if I made you do that though? Like, what made you like? I'm gonna just. Go from gangster shit to like I might start singing. But know? I was singing like gangster. Like I wasn't like on. I was like singing gangster. Like I was also like street gangster, like gospel shit. Okay. You feel me? And then I make you know girl versions and shit too, 
to some shit, but it was still like gangster. It was like gangster love song. Right. Yo, I speak- don't know, bro. Like, I ain't never really put myself in no category. I did all type of shit. Like, I did all type of shit. So people, like, when I do something outside the box, he ain't really. Sometimes I try to do shit that's bigger in a, I try to do shit that's bigger than where I'm at, like, as far as, like, system-wise. You feel me? Like, for instance, like, um, like I had a song with, like, uh, Zayn Malik, you know, from one, from one Direction. And it was a big song. It was a big record. Like, I love the record. Everybody loved the record. But it was, like, it's a song that I should have dropped, like, while I was on a major. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I I dropped it, like, you know, me kind of doing, like, mostly everything by myself. So it's, like, it couldn't reach all those channels yeah. that it was supposed to reach. So I do, for a lot of times, I feel like I make music to, like, where I'm at. I know I don't have, like, the, I be wanting to make these, like, I know I can make these type of records, but I'm, like, I ain't got the. It don't make sense. Backing, right yeah, yeah. I ain't got the backing to reach the ears that I want to reach. That mean, it's like kind of like uh, when Drake made uh, Sticky. I think yeah. that's the name of it, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you got to be like yeah. a big time nigga to, to make that in that moment. You got to hit worldwide. You got to be able to, you got to be with a label that can press your button and your shit be worldwide. Right. In the world, hear your shit. Like, it can't be like. Even Kiki, like some shit like that, you got to be like, you yeah. got to be. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But yeah, it's like that, but. You know, yo. Another thing I thought that was a, a observation. Like you don't mm-hmm. really be, you don't really play the social media shit like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how. Like I don't know how the fuck motherfuckers be. Like I don't know how to do that. Uh, like nigga, man. just flex, show your shit. Like you got a lot of shit. You got <laughs> for me, just flex on these things. I don't even know. I don't shit. I don't be shit, bro. And it, to hear you talk about marketing <laughs> so well, it's crazy. You would think you would be out this motherfucking marketing and shit. I, just, I mean, like, I do it sometimes, like, you feel me? I just feel like I've done it so much. Yeah, like, myself, I feel like it was a time where you was getting in your bag. Yeah, you I, it used to be a time that I used to be in that shit, but I was like, oh, no, bro, oh, no. I just I just feel like I'm just, I'm really, like, people don't even know how long I've been in this shit. A lot of people, like, feel like I've been in this shit since, like, fucking 2021 or some shit, but, like, nigga been in this, well, I've been in this shit since t- 2016, like 2017, when I first had my first buzz and records and shit. So I'm just off that shit. Like, I ain't really like you think when media. you was when you was um on social media talking your shit and shit like that? Do you think that fucked up the money? Do you think if like do you think something happened where it scars you? Like, man, I ain't fucking with that. Uh, I don't think it fucked up no money. I just think that you know I'm a personal nigga. Like, I I'm. Like, I like to keep the shit that's hell dear to me. Like, niggas be like, man, you should post your relationship more. You should do this, do that. Because, you know, I could do that. Like, I could flex me. I could, I could post me and my girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. I just, shit that I hold dear to me, that I really, really care about, really love, like, I don't really like it to be scrutinized by the world. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, you know, I just like to hold, I like to just keep some shit to myself. You feel me? And like I post probably every now and then, I post my kids or, you know, but a lot of shit I just like to keep to myself for real. And that's just how I am. I don't like for the world to know like every every single thing about me. But I feel like that's what make these people like viral stars. Like people know every little thing about them and that's what makes so them viral because you get to scrutinize every single part about them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But that shit not what make me happy though. Like, That's a fact. And even like outside of scrutinize, cause you right. Yeah. Like sometimes, and I feel like I be trying to get people to understand. Like sometimes yeah. the relatability do so. Yeah. Right. Like just talking about, just telling your truth. Like let's say Cardi B. Yeah. I feel like she one of one of the few people that really did a great job at like just coming up and just being her, and people yeah. just love that though. Yeah. Like, but that's her though. Like her personality is her. Like if I had that type of personality, then that would be blue. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's not my personality. No, so okay. I, I'm. Forcing it to be my personality is like, he ain't gonna be happy. At the end of the day, I gotta go home happy with myself. You feel mm. me? I'm not finna just cause y'all tell me to jump through hoops and, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Now, could I try to do more content, like more interviews, more shit like that? You know, people wanna hear me talk and shit like that. Yeah, I could do more shit like that. But it gotta be natural, you feel mm. me? It ain't finna be no crazy shit. And the crazy shit, the shit that go like 
crazy. Viral. <laughs> but no, uh, some I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like yeah. sometimes, and I'm that's what I'm feeling about this 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 interview space because sometimes the good shit be going viral too. Yeah. Like some real shit. A nigga yeah. say some real shit. Sometimes bro. though, yeah. not ten percent nah, out of ninety right. times. Hundred percent. That's why no, nigga you, see yo nigga see you talking good and like like no lie like we ain't really talked about shit like interesting for like the masses to jump to you know what i'm saying so we talking about real life shit mm -hmm. like business and shit niggas don't want to hear about that niggas don't want to hear about that i'm with you I, it's funny that you said that i'm with you i'm with you because like I, I talk about this with my team all the time if anybody with you i'm with you so i'm playing devil let w. me say goddamn i want to fuck uh megan good let me say i want to fuck megan good Oh, I got a crush on this person, this person. This, this shit gonna, gonna go crazy. Go viral. Nah, facts. You right. You, you listen. Me. When I say you right, I, I swear, bro. I swear, bro. I swear. Like I I'm, get on this bitch, be like, man, what you want to talk about? Man, let's talk about this. Bam. All right, we go on this bitch and you. talk about it. And I'm gonna say this shit, and this shit guaranteed to go viral. I get it, and I can ask the question to go viral too. But yeah. honestly, this just would like this is like yeah. you feel me? Like you ain't tell me what not to talk about or nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, like, yeah. but. It wasn't like because we could talk about those things. It's not that, but yeah. it's more to you on some real shit. Because I talk yeah. about everything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm t just in my experience, right? Because I've had best of both where I've had like shit go viral, like shit. I just had the the Meek Mill yeah. and drama yeah. shit go viral, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But the I swear I can't make this up, bro. Yeah. It be the conversations that be like real shit. Yeah. That might not look like it go viral, but they yeah. still do more numbers on the back end, like yeah. you said. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah. people's know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And that shit matters more because that's when you get the fans that's going to stick. Yeah. Nah, that matter. That matter more. It 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 matter more for sure. Like a lot of niggas not getting me in the interviews. Like act like acting the crazy shit because they know like general like in general like that's not what people tune in to blue for. You feel yeah. me? So you probably a lot of you know crazy shit. You probably like out of your head that you probably would want to ask, but like you know what I'm saying you probably got some more shit like. That you want to like real shit you want to ask, you know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of my interviews be. That's why I be like picking them, you know what I'm saying? Like I pick and choose my shit. Like I don't do like every interview they send at me mm. or like every, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get on, I probably go fuck with Angela Lee, ye talk a little spicy and but shit. That's your like dog. That though. Time, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. But that's my, yeah, that's my, it, it really be people I fuck with so it could be like real conversations and shit like that. Yeah, uh, but but hey, now yeah. I don't have nothing crazy. Like I honestly, bro, I really ain't. I don't be putting that shit. Yeah. That one, I don't, I don't and, but but it. some of the shit it just don't make sense because a lot of the shit that that would be crazy is old though. Yeah, like it probably me? wouldn't make sense. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying like. So like, like oh yeah, oh shit. Like yeah. I, I be having no times now. I get in my mold. Like <laughs> it really be like if I'm in the building, like if I'm in the building process, if I'm building something, if I'm working on something, I really go quiet. Like mm. I go, I go like hella quiet. Like bro, I done had so many like like this in my career, like. When I signed to, uh, when I first signed, when I had like Miss Ice on my baby, and them mm -hmm. baby, you know that was up, yeah. and I kind of went down, you know what I'm saying? Ice on my came, baby was that with uh, um, that was with Columbia. Okay, yeah. okay. Like I had the, the even the times for that, like the mixtape days, like and shit like that, where I was like, you know, I done had like so many different levels. That's why I just, I really low key believe that I can turn up anytime because a lot of niggas just have one trajectory up. Down. Facts. I got to have, you know what I'm saying? But that's I, the game, though. Yeah, you We know that. That's the game. Yeah, got that, it. Yeah, you got it. You know Nobody finna be like this the whole motherfucking time. You feel I me? Mean, so, unless you drink. I mean, that's, that's different. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that nigga different. That's different, goddamn. That nigga different. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it is what it is. It's bro. different, though. That shit for real. Yo, all right, so, okay. Yeah. You, you, you level headed, right? We see that, right? You get into the bag. On the other end, then, right? You got everything that you wanted. On the other end. I guess what are some of the things I that like, I don't feel like I got everything I want. That's what shit. that's what I'm asking. Like, what, what do you feel like is missing there? Because it seems like everything is just know. going good. What, what's what's what what what's the things that do frustrate you in this moment and in, in this in this space? Um, what what frustrate me? Uh, man, what are some of the things know. that make oh, you hear me? My man, my, my team going joke on me. What are, what are some of the things that make you like me, like like a regular person? Like, what are some of the things that you do get like, man, upset about? Like, man, fuck, like, um, I mean, I feel like the only shit I get stressed about really, the only shit that I get stressed about really is like music. Like, sometimes I be stuck on like, you know, like 
how to promote certain shit, like, uh, like how to market certain shit. You know, so everybody have like I be having problems with the labels and shit sometimes, like, um, just like shit that every artist go through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, trying to get with the new wave and shit like that, like all type of shit. Like, you feel like you're old soul. Like you, you're not really fucking with the new wave now. Yeah, I ain't. I'm fuck. I'm fucking with them. I just, I feel like, um, yeah, I just feel like shit. Like the dances and the TikToks and the shit. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. That shit you gotta do. Like you gotta get, you gotta get with the new times. I'm just trying to find out how to do that shit without it being like, ugh, you know what I'm saying. How to do it and it be like you, like it organically yeah. makes sense. I'm kind of like in a in a moment right now. Where I'm trying to figure out like, okay, like how can I like, you know, get with the times, but still stay true to what I got going. You know what I'm saying. Mm. And. You know, so that's kind of like what we strategizing right now and shit like that. But that's the only thing that kind of. Bro, like, you can't, bro. You just got to go ahead and start saying fuck everybody, bro. <laughs> you just got to go ahead and say, Yo, uh, fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas is not better than me. Y'all niggas can't sing. You niggas has got all these motherfucking uh, writers. Uh, you guys uh, just fuck it. You just got to do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I, uh. You got to get with the t- You got to get with the program, bro. That's the, that's the program. That's the program. Or hop on TikTok, do a dance. You know what I'm saying? Get one of these little TikTok. Hop on, um, you know. Yeah, what I, mean? I feel. I feel like that's. The, I feel like you know, you gotta. You can't be that. You can't be that. I can't. I, I start considering myself an old here, but you can't be that person that be like, ah, you know, what I'm saying, fuck all the new, all, all the new shit is whack, and you know, fuck that. I'm gonna stick to the old way because that's how you like. You got. I can admit that I'm trying to find a way to like get with the new shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm. You know. You sometimes you gotta sit back and strategize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sit back and strategize. Because if you don't ever take the chance to sit back and take the time to sit back and strategize, you'll keep doing the same shit that you was doing before. Because it's mm. just like a line, line, line. Sometimes you gotta take a break. Okay, what's the plan? I right, bet this the this the new shit. Okay, let's find out how to do what we do, but do it in this way yeah. now because this the new way of marketing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if 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 you just had three back to back hits on radio, and okay, ah, radio seemed like ain't that, that effective no more. What's the new wave? Okay, TikTok and YouTube shorts and all that shit like that. Okay, now we gotta strategize how to do that shit the same way we did radio. So it's just like you just gotta uh, figure figure that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, when um when you figure that out, bro, can can I? Can I do an interview of you on your uh on your private jet, bro? Yeah, on my first TikTok song, goddamn. <laughs> I want, to get I want that first TikTok hit. We got interview you on your private jet, bro. Yeah. You gotta like shit on niggas sub through though. Like you feel me? Like <laughs> you know how to do it, nigga. You just eating on the on the private jet, nigga. You you know how to do it. You gotta do a sub through, like Man, eating on the private we, jet. We, we, we can do it. We come like I said. We, we can come to the facility. Like, I want. I'm gonna have like a little podcast shit set up in the um in my facility too. Like I'm gonna have like a podcast shit set up. Moonball University exclusive. Uh, so when like I have like interviews and shit come, mm-hmm. we can interview like at at my shit and it'll be like a Moon Boy exclusive, oh, that's hard. which uh, you know like a collaboration type shit like that. Bro, how, bring mm-hmm. me on board, bro. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Get some I'm, shit rocking for I'm, real. Shit, I'm with it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm ass, man. I'm, I'm I'm dead serious. Like looking for some like some shit to do. Cause I got like this big ass room that's like I was like, man, what what can I do here? I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just put like a podcast in this bitch and. And just do something, cause I already got access to yeah, everybody. I mean, yeah. I come with my own shit. You see, I come with my own shit. You Man, know what I'm saying? And this, it, this is only half of it. We got some other shit. I want to do that shit. We gonna talk about some shit though, cause I I, I want to build some. I I I got. I, I want to build some shit though. I want to build some shit like these niggas killing it bro we gotta he gotta do it yeah nah no okay. this is the new way for real man nah, for sure yeah, yeah i appreciate yeah. you for pulling up bro nah. um any missed opportunities anything we ain't talk about that you you, you gotta talk about uh nah, no no hell no love like stars is out right now yeah yeah so sure. uh it, it, it's going up um yeah. again i fuck with you i appreciate you kept your yeah. word yeah you made it work yeah yeah um since you answered the dm i i wasn't even expecting that shit hell nah nah i told i i, I had to goddamn get it in because I, I fuck with your shit i be watching your shit all the time, I was like, man, I just, it'd be hard for me, man, Atlanta be a long ass drive, yeah, and it'd be a that. lot of fucking traffic, bro. Yeah. It'd be a lot of fucking traffic, so I just had to get out there, bitch. I was out here um, having a meeting and shit, I was like, man, I, I told bro I was gonna hit him up when I'm down that way, so I, I be keeping my word and shit Yo, like that. Yo, what, what, it's funny, you got, cause you got an estate. Yeah. What categorizes a crib as an estate and not a, a big ass house? 
<laughs> like, what's the difference? You tell me, please educate me. Shit, I don't see that. Some shit, I don't know. Now, I don't know what. I guess niggas just call it a state because I, it's big as fuck. I mean, yeah, I think it probably be like the land, like the amount of land it is. You know what I'm saying? No, I think a state is your main a a mansion that's your main place of staying. You feel me? Mm. But my I don't live in mine no more, so I, mine is just a property now. I got another house. That's oh. just my that's just my like business property. Like the whole thing is Moonboy University. It's like a campus. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. So this nigga is out of this world. Yeah, bro. I had to turn it. I had to turn it into. I had to turn it into some great shit. So I'm gonna be like renting it out. It's gonna be the headquarters to my label, my production company, and shit like that. So we building it out, bro. We building that shit. I appreciate it again, man. Young Blue, J Hill, J Hill Podcast is wrap. We out.